hey guys i'm pretty excited to report about comet lemon magnitude is going up so very soon it is going to reach close to that mag 6 right now it is reported it is already being reported at mag 6 7 and 7 so this is uh, the top of the estimate so we need to see if it is going to stay and get a little bit more brighter most of the reports are coming are from southern hemisphere it is coming either from australia or new zealand when we look at uh, on the northern hemisphere where it is right now it is like setting pretty quickly in the evening time but if we go further in the timeline so if we go close to the july 17th time frame you would be seeing on the west side right now the time here is 9 o'clock or 9 30. so you can actually see in the night time in a you know relatively dark sky or even a little bit later in the time maybe another 20 minutes or so you should be able to actually take a pretty good picture even if it stays at this level at mag 6 this comet is going to appear really beautiful so as you can see currently it is in the southern hemisphere but it is going to move slowly to the north side so actually we can see on the north america side it is going to get visible somewhere in this time frame roughly in the july 19th which i was showing you on the other screen you should be able to see so july 17th or july 19th you should be able to see relatively up in the sky in the night time the closest point it is going to come is june 29th and it is at 0.8 au so it's like a 123 million kilometers away when that is the closest point that is going to come so this comet is coming every 9000 years or so so it is actually fairly smaller distance compared to the other long distance comets that we have we've been observing so every 9000 years this comet is going to show up so the core of this comet is 10 kilometers wide and the coma of the of this comet is like 92000 kilometers it's actually relatively small compared to the ones that we saw before so it's not really a huge comet relatively smaller comet i'm also working on that black hole picture that we were talking about so i'm working on that arc that the black hole created the black hole jet i've been working on that one taking some data thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video thank you